You know, oh, I was shit. I've been thinking about this all day. When, when like Stephen Crowder, I did Crowder's show, and I, there's okay. a lot to say about Crowder. But, <laughs> oh yeah, he's, he's but, going through a lot of shit right now. Yeah, but he'd have a staff of like ten people. Yeah. Now I don't know about you, but I have this email on my desktop that is a three day marathon <laughs> of racism, war on kids, feminism, LGBTQ, final <sighs> video. And I, I could easily do a nine hour show. Absolutely. Easily. Yeah. And there'd be no lulls. But so you gotta pick and choose. That's one person. The one person works at Gavco. Yeah. Gav. <laughs> That's it. But like they had I'm not disparaging Stephen, but you have a meeting in a room with nine people going, What about how MLK's statue looks like a penis and a turd? Yeah, we got that. So does every fucking show. Yeah, like, everyone's talking about that. I don't need awesome. ten people telling me what the top stories are. Yeah, yeah. And, and Let's spitball around the table. What do you got? What do you got? And it's literally everything I have. Right. And it's literally two hundred stories. Yeah. And you got to get it down to fifteen. So now you have actually more work yeah. than what you started with. And then with Gutfeld, when we would do Red Eye, it was his staff of like five or six, which is less than Crowder, by the way. Yeah. Then it was. All the guests, which was four. Now we have 10 people who have 20 stories each. Again, right. 200 stories. A show has room, especially if you want to, like, talk to each other and have some fun, for, like, 12 to 20 stories max. Yeah. So it's not a good model. It really is time-consuming, and uh, you're, you're kind of wasting people's energies. He seems like a pretty resourceful, smart guy. It, right. Uh, I think if anyone is uh, set up and has their ducks in row in the row to to do something like that, it's him. He's got the audience. Yeah. He, he's got what I would assume the equipment, a studio. It's oh, he's got a massive studio. Yeah. Yeah. So why wouldn't he just fucking say fuck? Yeah. Fuck the Daily Wire. Fuck fucking. Uh, I, think, uh, I think that's going to happen inevitably. It might be. I don't his think he has a choice. choice. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, there's like the the locals is like OnlyFans, but not porn. Right. And yeah, that's yeah. you know subscriber content. So I, I think his only option now is to go to locals. And then what? Maybe Rumble because you get demonetized. I think the free. I think he's got to say goodbye to the free content idea. Who? Yeah, that's the toughest part. He gets paid per view though. So, like, if he gets a million views on his YouTube video per day, that's seven grand a No, show. I thought he'd been demonetized on YouTube. He's always being demonetized, and then they... They let him back. They let him stuff. back in. It's yeah. I, I don't know how that even works. I'm pretty sure he is that currently could, demonetized on YouTube. Uh, that could be true, yeah. Because <laughs> you could still be on YouTube, but be demonetized. Right, 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 yeah. But if you're getting that many eyes on you, you're going to get people that want to advertise on your show or there's some way to make but he only up. does a read every two hours yeah well maybe he's got to fucking change that philosophy yeah and uh yeah something has to change but yeah. i just think and I, I i obviously the contract is nuts i'm not defending the contract but i yeah. just think when you're negotiating one of the worst things you could do yeah. is like show the contract to the screen and, and talk about how shit on a big con and big tech big it, it, con it and had a, a a bit of an op vibe it did, and I've been on that end where, yeah. uh, you know, at least he's just him. You know, he's got his employees and whatnot. But, oh, boy, when you're part of the Opie and Anthony show and the one guy is doing that, you want to cave his fucking head in. That's Dave Landau. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, Dave Landau is like, you asshole, I left a I guess steady I'll, gig. I guess I'll do another show in, in Ukta Yuktuk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how many shows are going to offer this guy a shitload of money like we did and then Crowder did? The guy should be counting his blessings. Yeah. Be going well, like, uh, uh. His whole massive staff of like 14 people, they all yeah, must be yeah. crapping themselves. Mm -hmm. I have a massive staff. <laughs> you shouldn't. If any of the major platforms. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. That's the second one. Doesn't he Let look like he's wearing a padded Superman <laughs> I don't know struck. why. I, it's got to be all him. And yeah, he's God ripped. Bless. If blank is boycotted or dropped by more than 50% like of uh, the advertising partners, uh -oh. the company is not able to replace him within 90 days, the fee will be reduced by 25%. Uh, what is that? Well, hold uh, on, hold on. Pause that. Uh, if Crowder is boycotted or dropped by more than half of his then, oh, the advertising partners, 
uh, revenue from the partners and the company is not able to replace them within 90 days, then the fee will be reduced by 25%. What fee? The His fee that is wages. Oh, ha! Jesus! Till such a time the ad revenue has been restored for a period of 90 days. So you can get it restored 89 days so close. <laughs> wow, that's 89 awesome. days sober. <laughs> wow, yeah. And then woo! Uh content strike. Uh all right, let, let him let him say it. We'll we'll listen uh, along. That's a sponsorship boycott. So that's saying, hey, 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 liberals, boycotts work. No shit. They do. They You're work on asking. Our guys. <laughs> You're asking we'll punish them, them for you. Let I me mean, go on. Yeah. Specifically YouTube demonetization. If any of the major platforms issues a content strike such that Crowder cannot be monetized on such platform and the company is not able to resolve the issue within 90 days, the fee will be reduced by 25% moving forward. Now, I thought this was a mistake because, you know, these people maybe didn't know who I am that we've been demonetized for three years. <laughs> oh, shit, no, okay. it was made very clear to me in no uncertain terms. This is what's <clears throat> sent out to everybody. <clears throat> so he's instantly down 25% because he is then demonetized. Get, then if you get a strike... <laughs> Meaning a suspension, but that's if you stay on the other side of the paywall. Right, reduction. right. And then another twenty percent of it happens on Apple, and then another ten percent of it happens on Facebook, and then another ten percent of it happens on Spotify. Oh my God! If you're banned from those, platforms. imagine you're deplatformed, as we've seen in the past, You'll where be owing all them the major money. entities decide to remove you in one day. Rather than having a conservative alternative, you would now be down to five to fifteen percent of the revenue of your contract. Oh. But wait, whose side are you think on about, with think this? About, yeah, pause that for a minute. Because holy, I, shit. I understand it's intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the money's not there. Now you do have to think they're not a charity, right? They need money to come in to pay you. You need to generate money to be part of their company and be an asset to their company. This is what I loved about when I was with CRTV and The Blaze. They were like, we know you're a pariah. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, they, their contract said, don't get us sued by some dumb right, black Please chick. just don't get a million, <laughs> That was my million deal breaker, lawsuit. but they knew I was banned from all social media. Yeah, they didn't yeah. expect me to promote anything. They just said, we'll defend you. And they did right, a couple of times. Right. But this is very interesting in that I could understand getting this contract, reading it, and wanting to get on the air immediately and say, what the fuck? Exactly. Is this? But you do have to, at some point, take a breath and go, is this the best course of action? Right. Like, that's <laughs> the thing about our job is like, my mom was so annoying this weekend. Right. She got drunk and she fell through the front window. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah, but. That's a good story, but let's see how things are going with mom's problem. Right. Probably best not to tell that <coughs> one particular story. And you're not self-censoring, but there's that. But yeah. when you're, con it's like being a stand-up comedian, which he is, you, you're constantly talking about your life. So when yeah. you get a shitty deal, you're like, check out this shitty you deal. You just want to talk about it. And that is shitty. But like you said, look, there's two sides to every contract. Yeah. And they need you to make money for them. And if you signed on... And they looked at you and said, well, that guy can make us money. And then as the time goes on, you're deplatformed, you're losing sponsors, is this. Why should they pay you the same amount? Like, right. I, 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 I get you're making us side. less money. Right. How am we supposed to just keep paying you? I think, no, the, man, we're going to stand up for you and go <laughs> broke. We don't care. Well, the difference is there's like a renegade network like yours and mine where they go, right. we'll stand by you no matter I'll what. I'll lose the shit out of money. Yeah. I don't care. I, I, I offered. I, I contacted his manager. Oh, I you said, did? I said, I know you, uh, Steven's fallen out of love with me for whatever reason, but I'm happy to do a split where he gets gets whatever right, he brings right. in in subs. And uh, as far as like what he owns, what he can do, yeah, like yeah. he can go on a raping spree dressed as Hitler. I don't give a shit. I was going to get him first, but he punched Gino in the jaw <laughs> at Sullivan's, so he had to go over to the censor. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't interested. No, no, huh? But uh, uh sure. th this is just Daily Wire saying we're not a renegade network. We're not into like yeah, yeah. breaking the bank. And here. just for the sake of cool, this guy's gonna get into a bunch of shit. It's gonna make news. It's gonna. We need money. Yeah, this is not the Who. We <laughs> right, don't want right, you to right. smash your instruments, oh, bust up the hotel, sabotage room, the band, throw the TV out the yeah, window. Yeah, yeah. Look, 
that Keith Moon did Clubs literally money. dress as Hitler. Yeah, and start yeah. attacking people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't want that. So you know, I I get I honestly get both sides of this. Yeah, uh, which is odd that I do get both sides of it. But all right, let's uh, hear a little more. Think about think about this for a second. Those in charge, the big conservative, the big con, and it really is the biggest con going right now. They're making it known in their contracts that they will enforce the guidelines of big tech and punish conservatives on their behalf. Don't, don't, hey, don't, don't worry, Wojcicki. Uh, these, trust me, these conservatives will stay in line. I pause, they get, pause it again. If he approached them with that contract and said, look, I understand this is all about money, and if it gets deplatformed, demonetized, I get it. But here's a way that I've figured out to make money without any of this shit and presents it, whatever that might be. Yeah. I can't imagine they'd go, no, no. If, if you present them with a money-making opportunity, they're going to at least talk about it. He's just saying, I want them to rah-rah stick by me regardless of how much money they lose. And that's not a good argument when you're negotiating with a company. I, I have a proposal. Fuck Spotify, YouTube, Facebook. I don't care about any of that free shit. Right. I'm going to go behind your paywall and bring my entire mug club Behind a behind paywall. Behind the paywall. Yeah. And now we don't care if Spotify, but you made being public a part of your brand and it's contingent on yeah, your survival. Yeah. So I understand someone who's offering you, Lord knows the kind of numbers they're talking about. It's probably a nice dime. Got to be like a million. Yeah, probably. A year at least. A million to three million, I would figures. guess, was the offer. Yeah. So if I'm going to pay you a million to three million, let's say two million, if I'm going to pay you two million dollars and you insist on being, uh, in front of the paywall, well, then I need Spotify money, I need yeah. Facebook money, I need YouTube money, so I at least break even. That's the way it works. I'm paying you. I'm paying <laughs> you. Not as a charity. This isn't like Anthony Cumia sending you a contract saying, right. don't do any of this. This yeah. is someone with a massive check. Right. Here's the check. Here's the deal. Seems logical and to me. Need, yeah, you need to be able to make money for these people.